All right, so today I went ahead and applied the animation recording system to a new scene to see how hard it would be. So first thing you have to do is uncheck undo at exit so that our animation doesn't get erased. Anything that you want to track has to have this property track me in it, like the brick and the actor's core. And then when we go to the armature, we have track me in this, which doesn't really change. Its position doesn't change because it's parented, so it's position 0, 0, 0, or whatever. But it's armature actor means that it'll track its bones. So you need this property if it's armature actor. And then also, in the NLA sheet, we need an animation called new action. That's what's going to get overwritten with the animation when we're done here. So I go ahead and hit P to play. On this green box right now, I switch to the robot. Stomp some stuff around. Go into idle. Start falling to the ground. I hit escape to start saving the game. So now we're building the animations right now. Writing them to disk. So it loops through each animation. So it'll go to that thing, go through all of the frames, and then place the animation for every frame. Um, this could be like a lot more efficient. If I went through each frame and then for every object set that exact frame and then went to the next frame and set that frame and then went to the next frame and set that frame and then also it could be faster if I used inserting F curves to make it quicker but for now this is what I got it only took a few hours to code so alright so our animation is just about done alright it's pi so we take the guy, it says he's in idle right now, we have to switch to our new action, and then we can rewind time, and our animation has been recorded. And the state machine's not perfect, that's not really what I was demonstrating here, the state machine I made in like a day and a half or something like that, two days. The animation, the locomotion system needs a little work still, but it's kind of fun. So yeah, we can rewind time. And then we could go ahead and render this out in cycles or whatever. Or even use it as a cutscene in a game. So that you don't have to um, use logic to control actors. You can just play an animation. And we could put some soft bodies in the scene or some water sims that the guy steps in or whatever. And now we can interact with that stuff too. Alright, thanks for watching.